right, you guys, I'm starting my day off being a full week ahead. See all those videos? You'll have watched them by now. But in order for me to get some other stuff done, that had to get done first. So now I'm free and clear. Videos are scheduled out for a whole week. So nice. I like to be a week ahead of the game, or at least a week ahead of the game. Given that I don't film every single day, it's nice that I can... Uh, know that I have, you know, four or five videos scheduled out and be able to take a break if I want to. Look, clean kitchen, quiet house. Teenagers are still asleep, I think. They're probably awake. Abby made cupcakes last night. This is a usual thing for us. We usually wake up to baked goods in the morning. I don't know when she comes down here. I was in bed at 10.30 last night. Anyway, I'm gonna probably go and get them up and get them to finish their chores. I am finishing my laundry. So many loads of laundry this week. I don't even know why, but load to come out there. Two more loads to go in, load to move. But I am going to go upstairs and start working on our closet. We're gonna go upstairs in just a second and we're going to clean out my closet upstairs. It's going to be so great. It's gonna be so clean. All right, laundry is done. And my next step in the closet process is going through all of our bathroom supplies from the garage and bringing them inside, right? Yeah. You ready to do this? Turn out the bathroom light. We have too many. We have too many <laughs> We have a lot of stuff put in that closet, which means we need to go and empty the closet. It's gonna take, like, gonna take a little while. Yep. Okay, next up we're getting some supplies. We've got packing tape, scissors, and I need my label maker, but this little bucket's in the way. So I'm gonna get the label maker out. All right, here's what we're working with. This is our game slash toy closet. We have started to transition it into a linen closet, but this is the only shelf available for towels. And you'll see things like this keep getting put here. And that's not enough space for a linen closet. Also not enough space to put all the bathroom supplies in. So we're doing a complete overhaul. Some things are getting donated. Some a things, a lot of it. How many games? Yeah. Okay, so we have a lot of games. I don't wanna throw them away. Some of them I might donate because I think we're kind of done with Candyland and surprise slides from Frozen. But I'm going to redo them all, compress them down. If you've seen this on Pinterest, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I've got little bags down there I'll show you. We're gonna condense all the games to one or two bins. That way I have all of these shelves available for bathroom supplies. And I'm talking like an entire package of bathroom toilet paper from Costco will fit in here. Right now I've only got like a fourth of a bot bag left, but I'm, I'm hoping to have a whole lot more room in here for toilet paper. So. I don't think it's gonna work. You don't think it's gonna work? I don't think. See a lot of people doubt mom's ideas. And then afterward when they actually like well, come true, they're like, oh, mom actually does know what she's talking about. So. I just, Let's see. There's a lot of games that we like, but I don't think it's still We're not fit. getting rid of them. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fit in two buckets. I think it's going to be like, what am I? All right, well, maybe. We'll see. All right, the first step is to start pulling everything out. And that's kind of a trick you do when you declutter. You take everything out, and then you only put back what you actually want. Because it's harder to put it back when it was messy, right? Look at the mess we made, Ash. This is always the hardest part, is seeing the mess. So, the first job is to donate what we aren't going to keep. And how many games did we have? 40. 46. No, one of them was not a game. Well, these three were not, they're not technically games. No, they're just like the kits from Costco. Is this 47? Okay, 47. But that's our tower of games right there, as well as over there. We didn't even like, you can't even see them all. They're all over there. And then Star Wars. And Star Wars, we can't touch. You'll see here in a second. I don't yes, know. I know we have a hard time getting rid of toys. Because this was um, I got this in kindergarten by the bus driver. Oh, that's right. When they did Beanie Wednesdays. Yeah. Okay, we have to get rid of stuff. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, doesn't look like we made progress, but we have two empty buckets, which we're gonna put toilet paper in, right, Boo? It's not gonna fill up. Actually, this one is probably garbage now. This one is cracked. So just fill up that bin right there with your toilet paper. 
All right, here is our progress so far. All of these up here are American Girl dolls or the Target knockoff brand. And so we've got the, the American Girl doll um, kitchen and Jeep and all the supplies for American Girl dolls are in that little box thing. So I'm gonna keep that for grandkids one day because those were expensive to buy, all of those. And then we also have toys down here in buckets. I'm not sure where the lids are for those two, but they're good buckets. So I'm gonna hang on to it and then hopefully get lids for those. That leaves this side open for all bathroom supplies. So we put the towels here. I'm gonna refold these towels, get them to fit nice and snug. I might even put them in a bin so that they stay in place because we're gonna put other bins in here with all of our bathroom supplies. And then now we have space down here for all of the games. And I'm really hoping that they're all gonna fit in that last space. All right, progress. That's all trash. This is a box of Donate. It has puzzles and a few extra things, books, I think. And then those are bins we haven't used yet. Then we have Donate for clothes, dress up, and a few toys. All right, here is the closet as of right now. This side we have maintained just toys to kind of save until later. We have one bin right here that is empty. Haven't decided if I'm gonna use it for bathroom stuff or not, or if it's gonna be with the for the game bags. And then again, I have those up there. So we have two shelves right here for games, and then all of the stuff over here is still bathroom supplies. In this bucket, we have all of our deodorants. I have obviously overbought on my deodorants, and then dad has four. But given that four of us girls are using deodorants, we all will <laughs> hopefully go through ours at the same rate, and so we'll go through those four at a time. So then we've got some extra feminine products and some face wipes, but I am going to stock up on more of those. Thus, why I might have an extra bin here for that kind of stuff. In this bucket, it's kind of miscellaneous stuff. I have two razors and two or three toothpastes. These are little mini first aid kits. And then I have some bug spray. In this bucket that I have back in the corner, it's all Dove soap. This is a bag and it actually just has a whole bunch of scrunchies in it. So I'm just gonna leave those in there because that's technically still a bathroom product. Okay, then down here, I have all of our tissues just kind of stacked up right there and then all of our Q-tips. This bucket here has hand soaps and then all of my Bath and Body Works soaps and lotions and sprays. These are all just backups. And then I have shampoo and then hopefully I'll have conditioner as a backup soon, as soon as I get stocked up on it, and mouthwash. But the most daunting task so far is the games. Let me show you how I'm gonna do the games. Okay, so I've got these bags. They're kind of mesh plastic. It's actually made out of PVC. And so I've got two different sizes and we're gonna put all of the game pieces and the board, if it'll fit, into these bags. And then if the board doesn't fit, I am going to label it and then we'll stack them all up. And then you'll be able to pull out the board and then grab the bag that is associated with it. So first job is to donate the games that we don't want. Right. The first game that we have is Telestrations, and what we've done is we've just taken all the pieces out. We've got the little markers, and Abby has the cards, and we're going to put the cards into a little baggie, and then Abby's going to help me clean these off really quick. Actually, Ashley is going to as well, just so we have it clean and fresh. And then what we're going to do is co cut the title of the game off of the box, and we're going to tape it to the outside of the bag, and then it'll be done. Okay, when you lose the instructions, you try and take as many of them from the package as you can and stick them in the bag like that. And then here is what the bag looks like when you tape the label to the outside. So it's all done. Okay, here's the mess. Here's the progress. We've got games stacked up over there. And then Abby is working on putting on um, the tags for me. I cut them out because she doesn't want to, um, she just did her nails, so she doesn't want to cut the cardboard. Um, so she's taping them on after I cut them out and she has put them all into the bags. And here's what we've done so far. It's kind of taking a little bit longer than we thought, but we are getting there. All right, you guys, it's taking us a long time. So here's all the bags. I, I like to show the process and the kind of the, the, the headache of it, but um, we've got this game right here that just is not gonna fit into one of the bags, as well as Trivial Pursuit, and Jason will not let me do anything with Star Wars. So we're just keeping those on the shelf. We also only have one board game that had the board not fit into it, and so that one just is gonna sit over here. I think that's Risk. Not too shabby for the games that don't fit into the bags. <laughs> Ashley and I are done. She's been braiding Kaylee's hair and I've been, anyway, I don't have a bin big enough. So it works to put them in a bin like this. 
then you can just kind of sort through them. I don't want to stuff it too full. I want to be able to like look at it and see what the games are. We also took the tray for the Mon Monopoly money and we just put the label on it. This is for the cheaters edition, but it's also a great money tray for the bank and uh, um, any Monopoly game. So that can just go right there. All right, it's not complete because I would like to have these bags within a bin and this is a little tight quarters anyway for this bin because these ones are sitting right here. So I'm gonna maybe go to Target and get one that, so that they all are in a bucket, but I do mind, I'm glad that they're all done because that was the biggest problem because that was the biggest part of it. So we've got all the toys that will be saved. I'm gonna try and find the lids for those guys. I haven't completely gone through all the games. Um, we have counted cards. We have made sure that they're in the boxes that they have and then wrapped up Uno cards and that kind of thing. These are all packages of cards that do not have 52s in the deck. And so I have more more games downstairs I'll sort through, but we are just, we're done <laughs> for now. But I love that I have all of this space now to do kind of a food storage for bathroom supplies. Like I said, we are gonna put more toilet paper up here, more shampoo, more conditioner, more feminine products, more face wipes. I'll be able to stock up on that kind of stuff and put it in here and store it better. I, you might get different bins. These ones are from Ikea and I do like these. They fit well on the shelf, but I'm not going to Ikea anytime soon. This is just a makeshift bucket because I needed to use a bucket. So it's just done. It's in here, it closes and the towels work. I know I have a whole other set of towels that I'm cleaning right now. So there's plenty of room for more towels. Oh, it just feels so good to have all of that space cleaned up. Okay, but at this point in my day, just gonna be real. I'm shaky, because I'm so hungry. She's shaky, she went down and got something to eat, but she's not feeling so good. Um, and then let me show you the pile of mess. Probably just got a glimpse of it. I'm not done yet. I don't do things where I just leave the mess. I finish it, because I love to shut all the clean, all the organized, all the organized stuff, and not have to look at this. Ugh. And I, we've already taken down some. Like that's what's crazy is we've already taken down two bags of donate. This is all garbage and two things of donate. And then that is garbage. That just needs to get folded up and put into the linen closet because now I have a linen closet. This is my stack of stuff, my supplies that can just go down and I'll store them downstairs. This is now a linen closet. That's what that is. <laughs> half of it is linen, half of it is games and toys. That's what it is. You okay kiddo? I know. All right, so I'm gonna take these t games down. These are donate toys, but I'm letting Ashley stand here at the top of the stairs. I'm gonna let her throw all the garbage down, but you just can't let it hit the side of the wall that has stuff on it. I need a Chelsea to put like a bucket, like a big bucket. And then, and then lower it down. I know. So if you can just throw it down, but not let it hit the frames that are on the wall, yeah. then I'll let you do it, okay? See, here's the ones that we're donating. These all need to get put into my car. The problem is my car is filled with all this stuff for the beach, which is where I'm going in like oh, two hours. Okay, this can go to the garbage. Ashley, I wonder if this lid will fit onto one of those buckets up in the closet. Oh, we can try it. This girl is such a trooper today. <laughs> I told her she could leave that one for dad to bring down, but she decided, no, put it under here. I'm just gonna put all of our donate stuff under here and I'll take it Monday or something because I don't have room in my car and I don't wanna go to Goodwill tonight. So, okay, you wanna go throw trash down and then you're done. Go. Just, hey, throw more. Okay, we're getting rid of these things. They're so gross, we don't even know what's on them. There's no way to clean them. Okay, little bit of a change in plans, not too much. As much as this drives me nuts to have like this stuff stay here, I can't take it with me because all of my camping, not camping stuff, all my beach stuff is still in my car. And we're gonna try and go to the fireworks tonight. The state beach that we go to for the beach is being funny and they're saying that because the fireworks we want to go and see are not technically being shot off from that beach, they are going to shut the gates to the parking lot at 10 p.m. and that's when the fireworks start. So there's nowhere for anyone to park to watch the fireworks. They said, well, you can be at the boat launch, which is where all the boats are going to be to go out onto lake to watch the fireworks. It's like the boat people park at the boat launch. We can't just go park over there just to go and watch. It just makes no sense at all. It, that's kind of a snafu. Ashley, are you gonna come? Her back hurts now. And, uh, but the other snafu, I'll let the garage door open. The other little bit of a snafu, um, my niece is bored out of 
her mind. She did come over here last night for a little sleepover and then her grandma came and picked her up this morning. And then um, she's been hanging out with her parents all day. Their parents are staging the house right now with a stager and putting on new doorknobs on the whole house. <laughs> she's like, I'm so bored, can I come hang out with you? Well, it's only me and Ashley. And so I said, I actually have errands to run. So I can't have you come over here to play, but you can come and join me on our errands. And one of them is to go get lunch and dinner. I'm gonna pick up some teriyaki to take for dinner to the beach it's a long story we're gonna go eat dinner at the beach and whenever they kick us out we'll go find a place up high to watch the fireworks I don't know what we're gonna do but I have two hours to figure it out so let me get Ashley um, we're gonna go try and go to Target right now and get some bins I wasn't going to but it'll give my niece something to do and it'll get my stuff done also all this garbage <laughs> This is garbage, you guys. That's all. Oh, wait, this is donate. That's donate. That's garbage. And my yard waste. Not my yard waste. I'm so tired. My recycling can is already full. Is there still more gar garbage upstairs, too? Do you have socks? Okay, so we might be um, asking our neighbors if we can use their <laughs> recycling can because garbage goes out in two days. So I don't think we're going to be able to make it. All right, it's been a little bit of a chaotic afternoon. I took my nieces and my niece and nephew running errands with me. We went and got some buckets at Target. I took and got them dinner and went to the bank. So, grand reveal of the closet. I could get one more bucket, but I don't think these ones would fit in it. So I'm not worrying about it. This is what it is and I'm very excited. All right, here's the final reveal. We've got all the games into buckets like this. So you can kind of pull them out, look at what games there are, push them back in. It'll just make it easier to like, oh, I know I don't want anything in this one. Then I can put these out and get to the back one. So I do like how it all turned out. And I wish I had been able to record it. When Jason got home and he was looking and I was showing Kaylee's boyfriend Jacob closet and whatnot. And he was like, oh, well that's really cool. But where'd you put all the games? <laughs> it's like, they're all right here. It's really cool. And then Jason came up and he was like, what did you do with my Monopoly game? And I was like, um, I put it in a bag. And that was like the one game you heard me say that I wouldn't do anything with. And he didn't trust me. Right, hon? He won't answer because he didn't trust that I wouldn't ruin his beloved Star Wars game and he needs to have more trust. I didn't do anything with it. But we are headed off to go to dinner with our friends at the lake. It's freezing cold. It's 67 degrees and it's going to get colder. So we're going to grab a blanket and sweatshirts and we're just going to go down and sit on the beach. We're going to pick up teriyaki and then uh, fingers crossed if we get to see fireworks. We don't know. We don't know what the plan is. So I just wanted to share this closet with you. Feels really good to get it done. But that's it for you guys today. Take care and we'll see you next time. Thank you. 